my full face of Glossier. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Alexandria here. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of Glossier which I'm super excited about. I've heard many many things about it and so I wanted to just try it out for myself. I am going to be potentially mixing some of my usual products in to complete my full face but I'm also going to be using every Glossier product that I have as well. I'm also having some faux freckles going on right now. I wanted to test out how Glossier Glossier works with them. They show through if Glossier takes them off. Make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notifications bell so you can stay posted with my weekly videos. Let's jump right into it. First, I'm going to be using the priming moisturizer that looks like this. It seems a little liquidy. I don't know if you can see it, but I just took like a little pea-sized amount. Yeah, it's definitely taking them off a little. Not the end of the world though, because I can just put more on. <laughs> it doesn't feel very tacky at all. It also doesn't feel greasy, but it's definitely very glowy. We are going to go in with the Perfecting Skin Tint, and I got two colors because I wasn't sure. I have been tanning, so I couldn't really gauge it online, but I got the shades Dark and Medium. So I'm just going to mix these two together, and these are all such different products than what I'm used to because I'm so used to just beating my face that I want to make sure that I'm like, I'm like doing this right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so it has like this kind of nozzle. I'm just gonna put it directly on my face in little scribbles. Oh yeah, that's like way too light on its own. I think the other one might be too dark on its own, so. So now that we have that on and I'm looking crazy, I'm gonna go in with the dark one. See, that even like looks pretty light, but will be fine. I have heard that this is buildable. I am used to such full coverage. That is why I'm using a good amount of the skin tint. I'm actually just gonna go in and kind of rub it in with my fingers, I guess. It's very glowy. It's not tacky. It's not oily. It feels very moisturizing, which is really nice. And I actually really like how it blended out. So I have my beauty my beauty blender here just in case I needed it, but I actually don't think I do. I really like it. I do have like a blemish right here. When it is summer, I don't worry too much about coverage just because I want to have like a natural glowy kind of vibe. So now that that is done, I am going to go in with the concealer, the stretch, what is it called? Stretch concealer. And I got this in the shade dark and that is so creamy. It blends in really nicely. A little bit right here. I'm going to take the stretch concealer and put it under my eyes, and I'm using a tapping motion. Look at that difference. That is actually crazy. This blends so easily. I'm going to put a little bit on my on the top of my eyelids, just because I usually use my Urban Decay Primer, but we're giving this a shot. I bought the Wouter setting powder in light medium, but I'm a little bit confused because I also have the highlighter stick and it's super creamy. So I don't know. I'm trying to think when I do, I don't actually use like a cream highlighter. I'm worried that if I put it on before the setting powder, that the setting powder is just going to kind of mattify it. But then I don't know if it's going to be cakey if I put it on after the setting powder. Cause it's like a shimmer highlight it's not just like a like a brightening highlight i don't know i'll figure it out okay so i'm actually going to be going in with my maybelline because i want to contour just a little bit i'm going to brighten up a little bit of the under eye area and then bring it down the nose we're just gonna go with our fingers this actually blends really nicely with the glossier products now i am going to go in to do a little bit of nose contour just to help bring back some definition into my face. I have two of the lid stars. This is a shade Moon and Fawn. So I'm going to go ahead with Moon and put it... Okay, so I also want to say that so far this concealer has creased in my eyelid. So I put some on my eyelid and then I'm also going to put some on the inner corners. And once again, I'm going to go in with my fingers. I'm actually going to go in again, just right on top of what I just did to see if it's buildable at all. Wow, it does seem very buildable. I actually really like that. That's really pretty. So now I'm going to go in with the Fawn Lid Star and kind of put it in my crease and add some definition in where I would usually put a darker color. So I'm going to kind of... How do I want to do this? I'm going to put it in here. Bring it out a little bit and then connect it down. 
So we'll see how that blends out. And this one seems to be drying a little bit faster, but I could also just be crazy. That is what the eyes look like so far. It's nice and glowy. I'm gonna go in with the cloud paint. So I got the duo, so it comes with two colors. This is Puff and this is Dawn. I just put it on my fingertips and I'm gonna go in and tap it out. That gave me like a nice flush color back to my cheeks. I actually really like it, wow. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go in with the highlighting stick. This is what it looks like. I got it in the shade Topaz. So this is like a very bronzy type one. Oh my gosh, that's actually super shimmery. Definitely have to wash your hands afterwards, but I mean, so far I'm loving this. I am going to go in with my L'Oreal Brow Pomade. I'm not going to completely fill them in with this just because I do want to use boy brow. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's a, that gap right there. I'm going to leave that and not blend it out with this because I want to see the powers of boy brow. This is a lot coming from me too because I am usually all about the brows. The applicator is actually kind of small. That's what it looks like. Kind of do upward brush strokes. So it's blending that spot a little bit. I'd say that's good enough. Okay, so that is boy brow. It's definitely, mm, it really accentuates the eyebrows that you already have. Kind of goes with like the natural vibe. Moving along, I am gonna do a little bit of powder just to review it for the video. It comes with a weird like mesh thing in there. So it kind of like bounces back up at you. It really waste a lot of product. So I'm just gonna put this on the parts that I would usually highlight my face. And that helps brighten it up a little bit. It is a little bit light for my general shade right now. It's definitely very, very, very light. I'm gonna be using the lipstick in the shade Zip. And again, this is a really bright color, so I'm not sure, but I'm going to just kind of dab it because that seems to be like the theme here. This is the shade I got. It's really, really, really pretty. It's pretty pigmented. That's what happens if I swipe it. This is a little bit different for me because usually I get precision with a lip liner and it is like a little bit much for this day look. It's very creamy. Also pro tip, if you don't want to get lipstick on your teeth, what I do, I take a tissue and I fold it in half and you put it like inside in between your lips and bite down and it helps get rid of the excess I would normally get on your teeth. It's like this. And there you go. See, all of that was like on the inside. And you don't need that. So I have dabbed this and it's very pigmented and it does seem to um, stain a little bit. So you definitely want to be careful. I dabbed it and I wiped it and it definitely survived that. I think it's a more manageable shade now though, for sure. Definitely more subtle. Next, I'm going to go in with the Glossier Lip Gloss. Oh, wow. That's very pretty. And it does get on the little applicator, but it doesn't really bother me. So this gloss is super shiny, as I'm sure you can see. And it almost feels like creamy. Oh, it almost smells kind of vanilla-y, but it doesn't taste like anything. And I don't think it actually is vanilla. I don't know, it's just a quick vibe I got. <laughs> this is my full face of Glossier. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, I'd say overall, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a very fresh-faced type of look. I'm gonna do a wear test to see like how it works throughout the day. But thank you guys for watching. Comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you in my next one. Bye